Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, beloved beings of light. Happy full wolf moon in Leo. I wanted to put out a very special video for all of you today for this very auspicious and powerful event of this powerful full moon of the lion, Leo of the fire. My goddess, my sacred condor and I are both Leo rising. So we're really feeling these fire energies. We have many Leos out there. Our our lion nation, our God's kingdom of the lion nation rising upon the earth. Really feel into this energy. This is ascension energy. The fire is the rising, the yang, and the waters, the yin, come together in the middle. You see, we have the white lion nation with us. We have the, the gold and green dragons. We have the blue wolf clan with us to assist us in this ascension journey. So take a moment, get some tea. I have some beautiful herbal tea here for our little journey here together. Now there's many stories I'd love to tell all of you, but very limited on time. So we're gonna get right into it. There's several things that I have to transmit and also I, I need to put out the daily transmissions that are most important until we're fully on the new earth, fully in 5D and beyond. So again, we're going to begin with putting our awareness into the each Dantian. We're gonna ring our sacred bells here, our chimes for each Dantian. Now Dantian in Chinese, this is of the Taoist Buddhist path of the East of Asia. See, I'm of the white dragons of the east of Tian Shan. Shan means mountain in Chinese. Tian is celestial, divine, sacred. So this is the dragons, the white dragons of the celestial mountains. So in the east, we say we have three Dan Tians. Dan Tian, D-A-N, T-I-A-N means field of elixir, elixir field. This is a divine alchemical portals these are like chakras, energy centers of the elixirs of the gods of the heavens of deity. Now we start with the lower Dantian. This is of the physical, of the past, then middle Dantian of the present, the non-physical, the mental, the emotional, and then upper Dantian, uh, the, the future, the future self, the spirit gate. So we put our awareness and breathe into lower Dantian, smile into the Dantian. <clears throat> Take a deep breath and let go into the energies that rise from lower Dantian. This is the Qigong, the Qigong portal. So ring the bell. Smile, 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 ground, ground, ground. And this is an activation practice. This is opening the Dantians. This is activating. This is cultivating Qi. Qi, either C-H-I or Q-I. There's two different ways to spell most Chinese words. Qi meaning energy or life force. It's Ki, K-I in Japanese, meaning life force or energy. Actually, in Chinese, there's a different word for energy and life force. Qi and is energy, Jing is life force. In, China, in Japan, they like to simplify everything. So Qi is either energy or life force, not to confuse anyone. I'm out here on our balcony here, so sorry for the noises in the background. We have a lot of traffic around here very soon. We're, my queen and I, we are people of the Tao, the people of nature, so soon we'll be able to a return to our forest, to our nature, to our sacred land once the divine dispensations are released, which we'll talk a little bit about in this one, but there's a couple things that I need to get out to you for this full moon energy. So put your awareness in the heart center, middle Dantian, middle chakra. We're surrounded also, we have some trees around here. So oh, Walela's with us now, the sacred hummingbird. She always joins us in these talks. She's right above the camera. We have a little hummingbird feeder. Beautiful Walela, Walela 
in Cherokee, this hummingbird. So put your awareness in middle Dan Tien. Take a deep breath in the nose. Hi, angel. Uh, she just hovered right above the camera. You feel into that sweet nectars of our hummingbird, wing nation. The wing nations are with us now. The eagles, the condors, the hummingbirds, the hawks. She just landed in the tree. She is so precious. It's Anna's hummingbird with the magenta throat. Very beautiful. Some of you have seen the pictures and videos that I put out in the past. And I took care right from this balcony. So we put our move our awareness up to Upper Dantian, the spirit gate. This is Shen Gong. Shen is spirit. The soul. Take a deep breath in the nose. Fill your body with the heavenly chi, the holy chi. Mani Padme Hum, Mani Padme Hum, Mani Padme Hum. We have the Crow Nation with us now. You might have heard that in the background. We are of the Crow Nation, of our beloved crows. Another crow flying up here, landing in the tree, above the hummingbird, above Walela. It's a very symbolic synchronicity. The crow symbolized the void. Yes, angel. Here comes another crow. From the north into the south, Aries into the Taurus. The sacred condor is Aries, the white gold eagle, Taurus of the earth. The fire and the earth come together, sacred harmony and divine union. The crow is transmitting powerful codes to us. Saying, hold up the crystal, the crystalline light. Our crystalline DNA is being activated through this lion's gate. This is connected to the 8-8. Eight, eight. Yes, hold it to the third eye and to the sky eye here. Hold your crystal. If you have a crystal or sacred stone of the elemental kingdom of Pachamama, of Gaia, Mother Earth. You'll feel the activation in the crown. You could hold above the crown, place upon your crown to open the crown portal we call Bai Hui in Chinese. You can point it up to help open up, expand the toroidal field, feel into the consciousness. So we have the rainbow energy coming in yesterday. It was a beautiful day. We had the sun come out. All the snow here is melted. And for a time, the sun, the solar rays coming in, and then a massive downpour. And our daughter was on the road with Mama Bear, my sacred condor's mother, her grandmother. And when she came home, she said a double rainbow followed them most of the way home, which was a very beautiful symbol. You know, yesterday was the 2424 portal of the 66 of the Christ consciousness. We say the Christo Sophia, which is Buddha mind, which is love, the love that emanates from our sacred heart centers. So our children, our rainbow children, our crystal children of the rainbow nation are with us. See, the crow just transmitted a very special code. <laughs> Sounds like a frog. <laughs> so this beautiful energy that's pulsing through our sacred heart center is the bliss, the love, the truth. You are the truth. For I am the way, the truth, and the light. The life of eternal presence, the pure awareness of Buddha mind. So part of our practice you know, our meditation is to bring us into that still center, into our pure presence, our pure awareness, in the center of our being. What our beloved brother of the light, Walter Russell, Dr. Russell would say, 
God is the still white magnetic light at the center of all things. See, the crow agrees. So that is the power of our pure awareness, the crow symbol. We sit here as we our words are transmitted to you and the crow calls in the background. We know our perfectly awakened self, our perfectly awakened mind of pure bliss, of pure awareness knows intrinsically all things. But we don't have to debate with this mind. The mind of Buddha, the awakened mind, is all-knowing, all-aware, all-present. So we feel into this energy and let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go. We hold our visions of the new earth of 5D. You see, I've been to 5D many times in this lifetime and infinite times and past lives and alternate timelines. So those of you out there listening to this now, holding the keys, the codes, the visions, we say hold the light, hold the line. This is anchoring in the energies of 5D and beyond. 5D symbolizing heaven. Let's simplify these things and say heaven and earth, we're merging the two into the one, the physical with the non-physical, emptiness with form. So what's very important here, I'm going to tell a little story and then we're going to get into a sacred mantra of Om. Because this is our root, our fundamental practice of Om. Om is the sacred sound of the universe. In the beginning was the word. This is symbolic of sound. From the sound came light, and light came the particle. The wave became the particle. And then duality, the yin and the yang, came out of that. The five elements and the 10,000 things. So it was reported today, yesterday, last night, that the White House in Washington was lit up green. See, this is the code from the White Hats, the Earth Alliance, that it's green light go, also green, the green dragon on February 10th, 210, as we travel through and through and through until full compression breakthrough. We use all these synchronicities, synchronicities and symbols as just guides and symbols, omens words, codes, and guides of our path, our way, the Tao of truth. So it was lit up green. As I spoke in my last Dharma talk, this year, starting February 10th, the Chinese New Year, the year of the green dragon, the wood dragon, wood is green of the five elements. Mm. I'm going to review real quickly. The earth in the hands, the sacred portal in the middle, the palm. This is the healing way, the blue. I am of the blue galactic hand, the healing hand in the Mayan calendar. I came in through the divine goddess. I came in worshiping the goddess, the divine feminine. I came in through Mother's Day. From our, our Mayan people always celebrate Mother's Day on the 510 portal. Five elements, ten organs. You see, this is the same uh, solar return as our beloved brother of the light, Sri Yukteswar of the Kriya Yoga and Baba uh, <coughs> Guru Raj that wrote Baba G, the book Baba G, also came in through this portal because we hold the codes of the divine cosmic mother of the goddess. We came here to lift the feminine energies to rise up. We know all that our divine goddesses have been through through thousands of years of oppression and abuse, but we're here to protect the goddess, to protect the feminine, our warriors of the light, so we rise together. So this green, the green, the, the thumb, earth, the stomach, spleen, yellow, the, the index finger, the pointers, wood, wood. So we're in the wood element this year of the dragon, it is green, the liver, gallbladder. We're healing the liver, the gallbladder through this green dragon energy. See, liver is um, 
suppressed the anger you know the emotion of anger has has suppressed the liver has damaged the liver but we're healing our organs we're healing our physical vessel to transform it into the avatars of the new earth so we have the wood element green middle finger <coughs> fire heart and small intestines color red that's yang energy, divine masculine. Ring finger, metal. That's the lungs and the large intestines, the color white. See the white, the lungs, the breath, the breath of life. Metal, the metal element. We have the heavy metals like radium. This is the highest electrical potential of all the elementals. This is electricity, you know. The earth is of the magnetism, you know, the divine feminine magnetic. So we say electromagnetic field, the electro, the torus field that surrounds our body, that creates the physical toroidal fields, you know, the music of the spheres, and then the pinky symbolizing heaven. So heaven come into earth, three dantians in the middle. So pinky, water element, the kidneys, bladder, it could be either blue or black. Water takes on many forms. It is the Trinity, the Trinity gate. It can be a liquid, solid, or a gas, you know, so. So we're gonna take a few moments here. I'm gonna try to wrap this up soon. And at the end here, um, I'll play my sacred condor from her latest New Earth Ascension report and astrology reading. She does a special uh, prayer and guided meditation for this full moon. We're going to play that at the end of this. So I'm going to take about 10 minutes here. And we're going to go into the energy of the Om, the sacred mantra. It's either O-M or A-U-M in Sanskrit. So we're going to take a deep breath and we're going to OM together. We're going to OM. Transmit the OM energy. And this is going to connect with the violet ray. There's Walele again. She just popped up behind our little bamboo gate. Yes, Angel. <laughs> she is so beautiful and precious. My sacred condor is my beautiful Walela. So take a deep breath. Fill your body with the heavenly chi, the holy chi, holy energy. Allow it to move through you. Allow the energy to flow smoothly. The chi flows, flows smoothly through our meridians, through our ley lines, through our dragon lines. For the internal mirror, the external, and the external mirror, the internal. There will not be happiness in the world until we find happiness and peace in our heart. We bring peace to the world from the peace within. Take another deep breath. We have a little friend joining us today for the third activation of Om. We have a little friend. The mouth harp, we call the Jews harp, you know, it's just from Mongolia, from the Middle East. Very powerful instrument that resonates with the Om, the sacred sound. So I'll play the Jews harp. Here comes Walela again, <laughs> bringing her sacred song, her sacred nectars of truth, of the Tao, the way. See, the Tao, either T-A-O or D-A-O, means the way, the Tao in Chinese, is the way, it is nature, 
is the mother, the divine feminine, the goddess. So take a deep breath. Om. Keep it going. Let the energy move through you. Anchor it deep into the crystalline core of Pachamama. Some people get offended that I represent multiple cultures, but I'm here to bring back the knowledge, the gnosis of our beautiful people of Mother Earth. My queen and I, we love all cultures, all our people of every nation. We have a scrub jay here now, you might hear her in the background, all the wing nation coming, the beautiful blue bird, the blue of our Venusian lineage, you see. I'm a Venusian, my sacred condor calls me a Venusian man because we are from Venus. My queen and I came into this realm for this divine mission. We came from 12D Venus and lowered our soul, soul star spark into these physical vessels to assist all of you, our good people of the new earth, our beautiful angels. We thank you. We appreciate you for coming with us through this great mission of planetary liberation. You see the blue... The blue is of the waters, of the divine, divine matrix, the divine matrika. You see, this realm was created to worship the beauty of life. But the pure awareness, the Buddha mind, the pure presence was converted to the three hells through ignorance. That which people call evil is the ignorance of the mind of man of humanity, but we are here to resolve all things in the mind, the unborn eternal mind of Buddha, that is your true self, your true nature, you hear her calling, you see, she is transmitting, it's beautiful, blue jay energy, this is a scrub jay we call here, in the east we had the blue jays, and I spent many times with our jays, you know, it's Ja, you know, of the Christos, and the blue ray, our blue ray people, of the blue hand path of healing and transformation. This is our heart path, our path with heart. We are rainbow warriors of the new earth, walking our path with heart. You see this beautiful blue behind me. I put this here especially for you, our blue ray people. And our blue avian nation, you see this is you know, our, our nation of peace, our nation of healing, of health, of the holy waters. So let's end this transmission so I can get this out to you on this most beautiful, auspicious day of this Leo. Full wolf moon, so the wolf nation, our wolf pack, with us of the blue wolf of the Mongolian nation of Sifu, Mujin Roshi, who's the gold dragon, with us to transmit the knowledge of the Kunlun, the Axis Mundi of the East, you know of the Jesus Christos. Why did they convert the I to a J? You know, Jesus to Jesus. Uh, that's a story for another day, but feel into that energy. You see in the ancient Greek, I is always E. E A, the A, the E is A. E A Sus. See, feel into the energy of our beloved brother of the light, Jesus. See, Jesus, Jesus. 
See, it's the vowels, the sacred sound, they create a swerve. I'll teach you one day. Uh, the Jesuits created that I to a J. If you want to learn more about that, you can read the books of our beloved bro Thor, one of the greatest geniuses in this realm right now, our Russian brother, Anatoly Fomenko, in his books, History, Fact or Fiction. The scrub J is here with Walela now in this beautiful cherry tree out here, very symbolic. You see, before I came, when I received my higher 12th dimensional name, White Gold Eagle, the, the Great Spirit sent the Bald Eagle to me. And when he was transmitting the energy of White Gold Eagle, of the Gold Buddha Consciousness, as he was sitting there calling to me, Walela came and landed on the branch across. So symbolizing Walela as the symbol of the South, too, of, of our sacred condors. See, and the dragon of the north, the dragon, the dragon energy of, is the eagle, you know, of the west, the dragon of the east. See, when the, my sacred condor found me, I was a dragon sitting in his cave. And when she transmitted the passion of the Sophia, of the Magdalene, of Lemuria to me, I transformed into the eagle. I went from the most indestructible being into the most vulnerable which was part of my transformation and transition into the light to be here with all of you through these final days of the old 3d matrix so we're going to end this we're going to visualize this realm mother earth and all her children of the sun being enveloped in the violet ray the violet flame of saint germain so hold this for 73 seconds 73 seconds the violet flame we blaze and blaze and blaze we fill mother earth with this flame of transfiguration and transformation the violet ray of our beloved brother of the light saint germain we call upon our brother master the ascended master saint germain to assist us to call in the violet ray to transform ourselves into the avatar to transform this realm into the holy lands of the pure land of amida buddha namu amida butsu namu amida butsu namu amida butsu i take refuge in the buddha amitabha of infinite light and infinite life here now in this body where I always am, keep blazing, blazing, blazing. And as we blaze this realm with the violet ray, fill it in every atom, every cell, every molecule, every strand of DNA lighting up with the violet, the ultraviolet, into the silver, the gold, and into the white light and into the clear light of bliss. Fill your body. Your body is a vessel of the cosmos. What is out here is in here. You see, it's a hologram. The one and the many and the many and the one. So as you blaze your physical vessel with the violet ray, the violet flame, fill your body. It activates every star in the cosmos. Every galaxy is lighting up with the violet ray of Saint Germain. So keep blazing, blazing, blazing. And in this moment, go into the stillness to empower your vision. Go into zero point, turn off the internal dialogue for just a moment to activate, to empower. This is the power of the feminine, the silence within the still white magnetic light, the center of all things. Come here now, for we are home together. Have a most beautiful, blessed, full wolf moon in our lion. Leo, Leo, the lion, the heart of the lion, the fire within. Namaste. Aho. And now for the full moon in Leo healing ceremony. Welcome to the sacred full moon in Leo healing ceremony. The energy of Leo, ruled by the illuminating sun, invites us to embrace the fullness of our unique selves. This ceremony is a space for healing, self-discovery, and celebrating the radiant light within each of us. Setting the sacred space. Find a quiet and comfortable space where you won't be disturbed. Light a candle to symbolize the illumination of the Leo moon. Surround yourself with crystals 
such as citrine or sunstone, to enhance the energies of self-expression and creativity. Play gentle or soothing music in the background. Close your eyes and take a deep, intentional breath. Envision a golden light surrounding you, infusing you with confidence, creativity, and love. Feel the warmth of this light as it embraces you, creating a safe and sacred space for healing. Self-reflection. Journal about your unique qualities and strengths. What makes you shine? Write down any self-limiting beliefs or fears that hinder your self-expression. Affirm your worthiness and celebrate your achievements. Healing Visualization Imagine a golden healing light radiating from the Leo full moon above, pouring down upon you. Visualize this light dissolving any self-doubt, fears, or emotional blocks within you. Feel the warmth of the golden light enveloping you, healing and empowering your authentic self. Creative Expression Express your emotions through art, dance, or any creative outlet. Let your inner child play and explore without judgment. Affirmation Ritual Light a small piece of paper with the self-limiting beliefs you wrote earlier. As it burns, repeat affirmations such as, I am confident, I express myself freely, and I am worthy of love. Gratitude and Closing Express gratitude for the healing energy received. Thank the Leo Moon for illuminating your path to self-discovery. Blow out the candle, symbolizing the integration of healing energy into your being. May this full moon in Leo healing ceremony bring you empowerment, self-love, and a renewed sense of authenticity. Blessed be. And now, for the full moon in Leo meditation. As we gather under the radiant light of the full moon in Leo, we embark on a journey of self-discovery and empowerment. Leo, ruled by the sun, encourages us to embrace our uniqueness and let our inner light shine. Find a comfortable position, close your eyes, and let the healing energies of this full moon guide you. Begin by taking a few deep breaths. Inhale and exhale any tension. Visualize roots extending from your body into the earth, anchoring you securely. Envision the full moon in Leo radiating a warm golden light. Feel this luminous energy descending from the moon, surrounding you in a cocoon of healing light. Focus on your heart center. Imagine it glowing with a vibrant golden light. Feel the warmth spreading through your chest opening and expanding your heart space. Now picture yourself in a vast field under the moon, surrounded by mirrors. In each reflection, see the different facets of your uniqueness. Embrace every aspect with love. Now visualize a majestic lion standing beside you, representing your inner strength. Hear the lion's roar 
as a symbol of your courage and confidence. Identify any self-doubt or limiting beliefs within you. Imagine these doubts transforming into golden butterflies, fluttering away into the moonlit sky. Now envision a canvas before you. With each breath, paint vibrant strokes expressing your true self. Now dance freely in the moonlit field, letting your body move with joy and authenticity. Repeat affirmations that resonate with your journey, such as, I am confident in my uniqueness. I express myself with love and authenticity. I am a beacon of radiant light. As the meditation concludes, express gratitude for the healing energy of the Leo full moon. When you're ready, gently return your awareness to the present moment. Carry the empowering energy of this meditation with you, allowing your inner light to shine brightly in the days to come. Blessed be. We end today's transmission and astrology report with a sacred full moon in Leo prayer. Under the celestial canopy of the full moon in Leo, we gather in reverence and gratitude for the radiant energies that illuminate the cosmos. And the spirit of Leo, the lion-hearted guardian of individuality, creativity, and passion, we offer this sacred prayer. Blessed moon, in your fullness, you cast a luminous glow upon the tapestry of the night sky. As we stand beneath your celestial embrace, we invoke the energy of Leo, the cosmic lion, to guide us on this sacred journey. Divine Essence, within this sacred circle, we seek the courage to explore the depths of our uniqueness. Grant us the strength to acknowledge and honor every facet of our being. Like the lion embracing its roar, may we embrace our authentic voice. Radiant Moon, as you illuminate the night, infuse our hearts with your golden light. May it kindle the flame within, igniting our passions and illuminating the path to self-love. Let the warmth of your glow expand our hearts with compassion. Moonlight Weaver, we release the shadows of self-doubt and limiting beliefs. Like the golden butterflies, may they flutter away into the cosmic expanse, leaving space for confidence and self-assurance to blossom. Muse of Inspiration, guide our hands in creative expression. Let our artistic endeavors be a reflection of our inner selves a testament to the unique beauty that resides within each soul. May we dance with joy in the moonlit field of creative abundance. Courageous Leo, lend us your roar of confidence. Empower us to stand tall, embracing the regal essence of our being. May the strength of the lion reside within, propelling us forward on our journey with courage and grace. Gracious Moon, we thank you for the sacred energy bestowed upon us this night. As we step out of this sacred circle, may the blessings of Leo continue to guide us, 
reminding us of our worthiness and the brilliance that dwells within. In the name of the moon, the cosmos, and the spirit of Leo, so shall it be. We hope you have a most beautiful and blessed week ahead as we continue our journey through the ascension portal and into our new heaven upon the new earth. Let us rise, Lion Kingdom, of our spiritual warriors, of our rainbow tribe, of the new Jerusalem. Thank you so much for joining us. We love you all. Namaste.